All right. So today I'm gonna showcase the follower mod when I um, set up my new save. Uh, this follower mod's called Skiva. Um, made by Arad Gad. Now, unfortunately, the mod author took his own life uh, January sometime. And this will kind of hit home when you see this. I wish you joy and happiness. May you find a friend in Skiva. May he grow on you and bring you law friendly laughter. Strongly recommended to be placed last in the load order. Look at that. It's always the ones that are the saddest, you know, the people with the darkness hiding inside of them that wish people the best. Because um, there's a mod that came out kind of like a home or a resting place for Skiva. You know? So this, these two could work together. <clears throat> Since I have a sort of a massive sort of run with my followers and they die, um, I might have what the shit? I might have Skiva be a very great hero, but maybe he might pass away fighting the dragons. I might just make him mortal. And when he dies, well, I'll make this mod. <laughs> um, it's very sad that a modder is... You know, it's sad when anyone passes away, especially when it's a modder. Because, um, yeah, mods are what makes Skyrim great. A single modder go is quite sad, so... I'm going to do a video. I'm going to run around, test this fella out. Apparently he's quite funny. He's a bit goofy. Um, I don't really do single follower mods like, you know, Sophia or Lucian or Indigo because I hate managing them all independently. Um, I just like managing all my followers of EFF. Um, but... We're going to check this out. And we're going to have Skiva run through our game, become part of our story. Maybe he might be Centaurus's wacky, wee, silly Breton. I might change his eyebrows a bit. Those eyebrows are giving me the creeps. I might give him a visual facelift, but I don't think I will because the, EA, the part of this entire mod is to play the character of the smarter, Arab Gad. <laughs> Gad Arab Had. Um, now this mod will never be updated again of course no. and it's good to see a lot of the people in here um, you know it's just you know this guy we, we, we never know when someone's falling down you know, when, they're, when they're about to take their own life you know and this is a sad thing no one ever really knows what happened so I'm looking at everything's October 2 is the last on us. Oh, not bad, that's the very end of it. Just want to see if he's keeping up the date before he's passing. It's good, uh, I, I'm, it's, it's good to see the Nexus community actually being supportive for once, you know. Like, normally you see a lot of just shit. And a lot of people here I'm um, wishing him a goodbye. Which is rather good. I. Holy shit, I think this is actually when he died, le January 11th. Oof. This man. He found out pretty early. It's it's kind of weird to see the community found out so bloody quick, you know. Then days of his passing, people knew. So if we are all experience this pain together, I guess, a goodbye. Um, poor lad. On 
one month ago. One month ago, he put that up. He was still in a very bad place then too, so... Man, that's so sad. You know, suicide, oh, it's, it's never a good thing. If you're watching this and you feel like you're in a really shit place, uh, don't do it. Because at the end of the day, there's someone that loves you. Um, you know, there's a mother, a father, a sibling. One of them guys thinks the absolute world of you. And when you kill yourself, you don't just... That pain just doesn't go. You transfer that pain to others. And if there's an afterlife, man, if there's an afterlife, do you really want to sit there watching your loved ones suffer for the rest of their lives because they think they failed you? That would be punishment eternal. <laughs> That'd be like rocking up to hell, but you're in your very own hell. You see the ones you love, but they're all suffering. They're all lost. And you can't talk to them, and you can't help them. You just, sit, you just sit there watching them in the pain you put them. So, if there is an afterlife, a small reason not to take your own life. Might make the pain worse. But, if you thought, just always remember the ones you love before you're about to do it. That's it saves a lot of us from um, taking our own lives. I was going to drive my car into, into a tree, but I imagined my mother and it would tear her into absolute pieces. So I decided not to. Um, I went to Macca's and I got a big fat feed. <laughs> um, and then I eventually went to the gym and got my life somewhat sorted together and it's always an up and down battle. It doesn't stay good forever. It, it just really doesn't. But it does get better. You have your ups and your downs, man, because you know your ups are always going to be better if you have a few downs. But they're never going to get better if you kill yourself. Anyway, um, I'd highly suggest checking out this mod. The memorial. It's a, it looks like a little play home mod by the looks of it, but more of just a more of a salute to a modder. I highly suggest you even download the follow mod. What is this? Oh. I'm running around. He's a bit of a funny guy by the sounds of it. And then I guess I don't know. Make him mortal. When he passes away, it's not because of suicide. It's because he died a hero in Skyrim. Anyway, guys, if you guys, like I said, if you guys, if, if you're watching this, um, do know there's always a better way. And if you need help, ring someone up. Sometimes a stranger that's paid to sit down on the phone and talk to people can be the best thing for you. Someone that you do not know. Someone that you that cannot judge you because they never met you. Sometimes it's the very best thing. <sighs> uh. That being said, if you don't feel comfortable with that, go to a friend, you know, a good friend, um, or go to your mother. You might think sometimes your mother might not know shit, you, know, you, don't, you don't want to give her that pain, but sometimes it's better to give her that pain than the pain of the rest of her life, not having her in her life. Or your father, whatever parent you're closer to, or sibling. Just remember, it's better to give them the smaller pain of you wanting to take your life and talk to them about it than have them live the rest of their lives thinking that they failed you. So, um, catch you later. Gad, or Skeever, you mad lad. I hope you're in a better place, or if you're no longer existing. I don't know. I can't do the afterlife, but I kind of hope that someone, I wish someone was there for you, bro. In that, peace out, guys. Have a good one, and stay safe.